Let's take a brief look at the many types of app that can be built on DirectUAL. There are four categories. Internal apps, blockchain apps, backend heavy apps, and chatbots. The first category includes mostly common user portals. For example, one of our templates is a tourist attraction catalog, where users can sign up and add their favorite attractions, including descriptions, pictures, and geotags. Then moderators reject or approve their submissions. Another useful template is a marketplace. As usual, a marketplace has buyers and sellers. Merchants list and sell their goods, cars in this example, and buyers put those goods in a cart, create an order, and pay for them, either using traditional methods or cryptocurrency. Another template is the Public Development Roadmap. We use that one actively ourselves. It contains information about new features, either in development or soon to be released. Users can choose the features they want the most and vote for them. Votes are then counted automatically and features with the most votes end up at the top of the list. Apps of this type on DirectUAL usually contain cards, Kanban, tables, profiles and forms. Let's see how to create an app using a template. To do that, we're creating a new app. In the second step, choose the template and a billing plan. You can pick a free plan to start with. The app with all the scenarios, pages and data structures has appeared in the My Apps section. Let's explore the pages. For example, this one contains cards with attractions. This component is connected to the database through the API endpoint. Each internal page contains information about a specific object, in this case an attraction, from the database. We can look at the places data structure and find all the objects with descriptions and pictures. Let's look at more templates and create another app. We can create a marketplace or a roadmap, which we've just looked at. But now we're going to explore another one, a custom user portal. This is a universal template for apps that have users with different roles. It already has pre-configured profile pages, password recovery and a notification system. Let's take a closer look. You can find users in the app users system structure. The ID is the username and here's the password which is stored in encrypted form. Let's reset the password and log in as one of the users. We see the profile page is already set up. Here we can change personal information and set up alerts. We can also see all the notifications we've had before. and change the password with confirmation of the old one. Another important part of this template is pre-configured scenarios for password recovery. When a recovery request is made, an object is created in a special structure to which the scenario is responding. The notification system in the template is made through a single notification structure. When a new object appears, an event is created to which a scenario reacts. This scenario, depending on the user's settings, sends a notification to the email if the appropriate plugin has to be connected. The password recovery scenarios work similarly. To send emails, you need to connect a gateway. It could be Gmail, SMTP, or another from the plugin tab. 
another category of app that can be built on the platform is blockchain integrated Web3 apps. A prime example here is the billing for the platform itself. It's based on scenarios and handles all incoming cryptocurrency payments. The platform also works as a heavy load backend for apps with traditionally created interfaces, such as React.js. You'll find a detailed boilerplate code with examples on GitHub. There's a link in the documentation. This approach allows you to make an app of any complexity. The final class of system for which Directual is ideally suited is chatbots. For example, bots for Telegram. We can use a template in which we need to insert a token right away. This token can be obtained from a service Telegram bot, the Botfather. You can connect this bot when creating an app by copying the token or later through the plugin tab. The template is quite simple, but gives a general understanding of how to use Directual to build Telegram bots. The main scenario to look at is the router. This scenario distributes incoming message objects based on context. The context is a field in the chat object, and it determines the part of the dialog that we are in at a particular point in time. Depending on context, a scenario is triggered that either saves what the user wrote, gives the user information from the database, or redirects to another scenario. This way, you can create chatbots of any complexity. Directual can also work with other chatbot platforms, such as chatbot.com. They have a clear API, which uses what are called synchronous scenarios in Directual. The platform sends an object to the webhook, and Directual, depending on the logic we put into the scenario, creates a synchronous response. Very often, chatbots are not standalone apps, but just an additional channel of communication with users.